it's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 10 of The Walking Dead. This is my trailer or promo breakdown for the upcoming episode of The Walking Dead, season 10 episode 4, which is called Silence the Whispers. Now, based on the trailer alone, this episode looks like it's going to be fantastic. It seems to be action packed and it seems like we're going to get a lot of great comic stuff in this episode, which I cannot wait for. The first shot we have is this shot of Michonne. And in the back, we do see cars that are being carried by these horses. I don't recognize any of these characters. I think that's Scott from Alexandria, but I don't recognize anyone else. But obviously, that's Michonne. Same here. Not sure where they're going, whether they are basically transferring some people to an area or to a community that might need some protection or something like that. Then we have this shot of Alexandria. We have Aaron talking to some Alexandrian residents. He says, these people took our friends. And he goes on to say they took our land and we need to stop them. But what's interesting is that it seems like Alexandria is going to be split one group that are going to be most likely led or organized by Aaron who are going to be for the fight against the Whisperers. They're going to want to go to war. So in a way, Aaron is basically trying to use propaganda and trying to push everyone to agree with him and to get everyone on board with the fight against the Whisperers or the war with the Whisperers. On the other side, other survivors or other leaders even, Michonne, Daryl, they may actually want to go about it a little bit differently. And they don't necessarily want to go to war with the Whispers, so that's very interesting. But we do have Lydia right here overhearing Aaron's speech. And then these three characters right here, we do see them here. And this one puts on like a sack or something, uses it as a mask to make himself look like a Whisper and mocks Lydia who's right there, she's standing right there, and it's pretty much their way of saying, you don't belong, you're a whisper. So a lot of people are treating Lydia pretty badly, which makes sense, but at the same time, Lydia's not gonna sit and take it all for long. I think this one might be the same one we saw in the last episode, who was one of the members of the Highwaymen. I could be wrong about that, but this female character actually shows up later in the trailer, and I'll tell you when she shows up, but obviously this guy puts on a mask, and mocks Lydia, everyone laughs, and then Lydia pretty much leaves. Maybe after that, Daryl sees what happened and he follows her. That seems to be what this is about. And then in the background, Aaron continues to say, they took our land, they must be stopped, like I mentioned before. And then Daryl and Lydia are talking, and then in the background, I think this is where Lydia stays at, and we have the silence, the whispers marked on her door. Maybe not the same, individuals that mocked her but maybe people like them put these messages on her door and obviously they don't want her around so that's going to create some tension and i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen there so we see silence the whispers and then we have this shot of lydia she says i'm not just gonna smile and take it so that goes back to what i said she's not gonna you know take it for long she's gonna want to fight back at some point so that's interesting and then i love this shot we have lydia I don't know why she has these red stuff on her hands. I don't think this is blood. I think this might be like from squeezing tomatoes or something like that, but I don't think this is actually blood. But the way she puts her finger up to her nose and says, shh, I absolutely love that. And then obviously she's doing it to this girl. This is the same exact girl, I think, that I mentioned who was there when the other guy mocked her. So that's pretty interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what happens between Lydia and these people that are mocking her and blaming her in a way. Then we have this shot, which is actually at Hilltop. And it's nighttime, so it seems like Hilltop is going to be attacked. So King Ezekiel looks at the window. He's shocked to see something. He runs to most likely warn everyone about what he's seen. And then Jerry and Diane show up with some people that are injured. So Diane says nine are injured. Jerry is carrying one of them. She has blood all over her face. And then Diane is taking care of this old guy here who appears to also be injured. We have Ezekiel, Luke, Yumiko, and other Hilltop residents. Jerry says it's going to take a whole lot of time to get them all out. So maybe some of them are actually stuck somewhere and they need to be rescued or something like that. 
We have Earl right there. Luke asks Connie, do you think it was them? Referring to the whispers. And then Connie replies, I don't know sign language, so I don't know what she's saying. Let me know if you know. Then we have Earl actually saying, of course it was. We are already at war. He's in favor of the war. It's going to be interesting to see whether the whispers actually had anything to do with whatever is going on here and what prompted them to do this, attack them, the hilltop. Obviously, something like this happened in the comics, so it seems like they're following comic material, but at the same time, what prompted the whispers to do that? Because in the last episode, it seems like they came to an understanding. So what could have happened that led to this? That's going to be very interesting. Maybe the whisper that was seen at the end of the last episode who Carol might have thought she was dead but she was alive. She could have had something to do with this. And then we have this shot so we have Yumiko here and then there's like a loud bang in the background as if there's like an explosion and then they look around and then Luke says they just keep coming and you know there seems to be walkers now inside the hilltop. The hilltop might be swarmed by walkers at this point. We have Connie, Kelly, and Yumiko. They're just trying to shoot the walkers, it seems. And then the wall goes down. That means that walkers are going to be flooding in. So that's very interesting. I'm excited to see what happens. But at the same time, I have a feeling someone might die in this episode. So I'm not really looking forward to it in that sense. Then we have Yumiko. She says, if we stay here, we die. So obviously, if the wall is down... If the walkers are flooding in, that makes sense. If they stay, they die. But they have to protect the place. But at the same time, our Magnus group really prepared to fight for this community. They don't even know. Or they don't really call home at this point, I would say. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, going back to what I said before, I think one person from Magnus group is definitely at risk of dying in this episode with what happens at Hilltop. So we have a few shots of walkers all around and then this shot of walkers approaching the walls of hilltop so that's it for this video see you next time for another super video if you like what you see press like subscribe for more content and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads